love or hate Infinite Warfare, you gotta love the fact that there's free DLC weapons instead of, say, behind an entire sea of stuff you don't care about in supply drops. I'm a little behind the eight ball in covering all this kind of stuff with the Infinite Warfare DLC weapons simply because today, I was trying to prep a bunch of stuff here for the future and my upload schedule got totally knocked out of whack. And so, well, here we are now a couple of hours later, about 12 hours at this point from whenever the DLC goes live. But I wanted to give you guys still a little bit of a look in and a showcase for these weapons here that were dropped today in Infinite Warfare. Once again, if you are a season pass holder, this is free DLC. I'm not entirely sure of the entire challenges or if they're just free for everybody if you don't have the season pass. So forgive me on that. But if you do have the season pass, these weapons are are for free. There are still variants that you can get in supply drops and everything like that, but the base weapons themselves are free. You can play with them right off the bat, all that good stuff. So in this one, we're going to take a look at not one, not two, but all three DLC weapons here and giving you guys a little comprehensive breakdown and then letting you guys see the footage in the raw formats afterwards. So hopefully you guys enjoy, but first off, let's talk about the weapons. Firstly, we have the Trek 50, the Proteus, and the M2187. Now the Trek 50 is a single fire ballistic sniper rifle, one that was in the game code found as what a lot of people believe was the Barrett 50 cal, which is weird and interesting to think about. Then there was the Protus, which is a sniper shotgun combo, and the M127 is a lever action shotgun, something that in the game code, once again, a lot of people dug this up and put it towards the Model 1887, something that I guess can be seen a little bit here with this, but I wouldn't say that that's exactly it. Now, the Trek 50, the interesting part about this is that you almost have to load it like a shotgun. It pops it like a sawed off and you load the shot in directly from the back as you were, and it's a single shot only. So every single time you shoot, you have to reload, which kind of is a bit of a pain in the butt if you ask me. And it's something that I'm not the biggest fan of the Trek 50, but it does get the job done if you can get your handle on it. I personally, the couple games that I played around with it just could not get the hang of it. But of course, I think if I played around with it more, I'd be able to a little bit further. But as such that it is simply only a single shot weapon and you have to reload every single time, it does make it to be one of those things where you want to be precise and you definitely want to make sure that you have time. Quick scoping with this thing in close quarters isn't the greatest idea in my books, but of course you can totally do it if you so choose. Talking a little bit about the Proteus then, this is a shotgun sniper combo and I think this might be my favorite of the three DLC weapons simply because both of these in both mannerisms and respects for the shotgun and the sniper, both of them are great options and can be versatile for either function. I think that the shotgun version of this definitely has a nice range to it. It might take one or two shots depending on the range that you're at, but it feels like something you can shoot a little bit faster than say the M2187, which is the actual shotgun. So it's nice to have that, but then also the sniper portion of this is definitely a viable option as well also, which is very cool. And I think that in that respect, it's definitely something nice to be able to use. Now the M2187, the lever shotgun is of course a ton of fun to use around, but it is a standard shotgun. So you can't pull off anything at an amazing range like a KSG or anything like that. It is simply something that needs to be close quarters. Think about the Ranger, think about the Model 1887, but on a lesser standpoint in terms of range. And that's right about where the M127 is. But all in all, those are the weapons here with this one. Are they game breaking? Are they pay to win? Are they something that definitely is gonna break the game and be the best weapons? Probably not, but they are a bunch of fun to use if you guys want to log on and check them out for yourselves. Once again, they are free for season pass holders right now at this very moment. And if you don't have a season pass, don't fret because there is probably some sort of smaller challenge that you have to do just to unlock it. Once again, I don't personally know those off the top of my head simply because I don't have the season pass. But once again, what we've seen in Infinite Warfare DLC is that these do end up coming free. So that said, just want to let you guys know about these, give you guys a little bit of a heads up here with these and let you see them firsthand if you guys have not already. Once again, I am behind the eight ball, but it's totally cool. I just want to throw this up here for you guys if you did not see it already. But hopefully you guys are having a great day. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below below. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below as well. Did you guys like one better than the other or not at all? Whatever it may be, feel free to drop it. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Massive, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and zombies with Zombies Chronicles, and Call of Duty World War 2, both multiplayer and zombies there as well. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now out of the way, hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Modern Espresso. Take care and enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
Friendly Scarab active. You are halfway there. Enemy UAV. Allied drone package entering airspace. 